Are you like a, an attorney, or do you just work here in this I'm office? Librarian. Librarian. Okay. Um, I have a I have a, a question about this. Um, I'm a photographer. Okay. I do a lot of um, video and and still photos and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and I go in buildings, government buildings um, in particular, because they're they're usually really interesting to look mm -hmm. at. Um, and I just went over to the courthouse. Um, I've been to two other courthouses, court, too. Of course, down that way? Yeah, the Supreme okay, Court. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went over there. I've been to the one in Waterville, and I've also been to the one in Newport. Uh -huh. In all three cases, they said that there's a, an administrative order that says that you're not allowed to record in the courthouse. Uh -huh. When this says courtroom, it doesn't say courthouse. So... Why are they allowed to kick people out, tell people they're going to confiscate their stuff, um, and act like tyrants? You don't want your camera broken. I don't do pictures. You don't want your camera broken? Yeah, you don't want to take my picture. Your camera will break. It, it'll break because I'm so ugly. No. Name and birthday at all? Or? I do. Yeah. What's your name? You can call me Daddy. TRG for you TV out here in the town of Augusta, city of Augusta. Once again, doing a First Amendment audit on the Capitol building uh, here in town. If you haven't seen the video already, it should be up by the time this one goes up. Uh, just went over to the Supreme Court and was threatened again with criminal trespassing. Attempted to have a civil conversation with the guards inside, or marshals, or whatever they want to call themselves. And they proceeded to act like I was a criminal. Like I needed to be put in handcuffs and shackled and thrown in the back of a car. And left in the middle of the desert to die or something. It's a little ridiculous. Anyway... We're here at the Capitol building. Who is that at the top, I wonder? Can anybody tell me who that is? I'd love to know, like is it, is it Lady Justice or something maybe? I don't know, like, is that why she's so high up so the courts can't choke her to death? What's up with that, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna record. Uh, you haven't seen my last video, where I came up here about a year ago. Well, not quite a year. It's been a little while. Uh, last time I came here, they were very happy to let me in and record and everything. It was great. And I was actually able to walk through the whole building with the camera. And I want to see if it's the same this time. So we shall see. I love their golden doors. They got like a nice open foyer. They got the Dorigo thing on here. That means I direct. Like this. And it's a really lovely building. I've been in here before. It's nice. It's a really nice. Apparently they have a museum downstairs. I have not quite seen it yet. How's it going, gentlemen? Hi, how you doing? Tour of the building? Absolutely. We have a guided tour that starts at 11, or are you going part of the uh, tour that's already in here? Oh, no, I'm just going to walk through. All right. Yeah. Come right in there. Sure. Do you have a picture of Gary? No, no, we don't. <laughs> Cell phone, keys, chain. <laughs> Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Maine. Yeah? yeah? Good. Good for you. Yep. I think that's all I have. Yep. Yeah. There you go. I have a belt. Yeah, this, I've had this belt for quite a while. Right. Thank you. Yeah, I came in here a uh, couple of like eight or nine months ago um, and uh, I walked through the building and I just wanted to, wasn't it like election day or something like that yesterday? Or did they vote or whatever? The day before yesterday. Okay. 
Yep, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, is this? I haven't seen this room. Hmm. Look at this. I got like a... I don't know if it's like a... Welcome Center? State House Welcome Center? This is cool. Got all kinds of cool stuff over here. And butterfly exhibit and stuff like that. That's really cool. And they got something over here. And let's go upstairs. Walk around. Well, that's cool. Looks like it's made out of business cards. What? That's intense. That's pretty cool. You're welcome. So there's that way and then that way. So they give guided tours in here. Um, complete opposite of the courthouses. You know, which is strange. So these are used by reservation. This is human resources. I don't know if this is like a whole office. Is this a private office? Yes. Oh, okay. That's all we have to do, you know? Just be cordial with each other, you know? Taxation office. I mean, theft. Oh, well, it's, it really becomes theft when uh, we're not allowed to go inside of buildings that our taxpayers' money comes from um, without <laughs> doors locked. But as you can see, you can see inside, which is pretty cool. They got kind of the same thing over here. Joint Standing Committee. Very cool. It says legislators only. Makes sense. But I am uh, once again impressed with uh, with these guys. The um, the happy nature when they see camera is insane like I just love that they're happy and they're not angry that you're bringing a camera in complete opposite of the courthouse complete opposite and why why does it have to be that way you know why it's down here It says please enter, but there's a... So this is all Office of the Executive Director. There's not a lot down here. I think it's just mostly offices. Enter here for public laws. What? Office of the Reviser of Statutes. No kidding. Oh, it says main office is down here. I am honestly curious. I wonder if they have anything, if they have any uh, wheelchair access. Okay. Staff only room. Let's go in here and talk to them, ask them some questions about it. Office of the Reviser Statutes. Oh, look, they got candy.
Hello, Elizabeth. Hi, I'm sorry. No, I'm Joyce. Oh, you're not. You're not Elizabeth. No, okay. I know we do that just to confuse people. I hear you. <laughs> How can I help? Anyways, you? I have a question. Um, I was just over at the courthouse, and I don't know a lot about law. I'm not a lawyer or anything like that, um, but I am a photographer. I love taking pictures. I love doing video and stuff like that. Um, and I was just threatened with criminal trespass over there. Uh, told that if I did not leave, they were going to confiscate my camera and throw me out. Where was this? The, the courthouse. Oh, oh. And I have their administrative order right here so, in my hand. Yeah, let me just stop you here. This office, although we publish the statutes... We have nothing to do with providing legal advice or No, I'm not trying services. to get I'm not trying to get so legal what, advice. What are you looking for? I just want to know why you're now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, um, because this is a public building, so and they let me in with the camera. They don't even okay. care. Uh, um, but don't you have to have my permission to film this? Not in a public place, no. Oh, okay. In a, in a in a private setting, right. yes. What can I do for you? So my question is, and I don't know if this I just saw laws on the door over there, so I was like, oh, maybe they know something about it. Do you know why they're not even willing to engage in a conversation? We have no idea. Again, as I said, this okay. office publishes the laws, has nothing to do with the interpretation of the, of the statutes. So who does? Go see a lawyer. A lawyer, a lawyer. would. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi. We're all set here. All set? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. He seemed a little uh, not happy that I was recording in there. Not good, not good at all. But that's all right. We're gonna go upstairs. Maybe we can talk to the new mayor. I think her name is Janet Mills. Maybe she's here. Maybe we can talk to her about it. I gotta talk to somebody. I gotta find somebody who's willing to listen to me. I want to talk. He said, he said a lawyer. Lawyers cost money. I shouldn't have to talk to a lawyer. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Where are the stairs? This way, I think. Legislators have something to do with it. Maybe somebody, somebody here. You'd think in the Capitol building would have some kind of information for me. I don't know. Got this guy's picture last time I was here. <laughs> Different angle this time, you know. I, got, I think I got him. I think I got him from this side. Law and Legislative Library. Huh. Hi. Maybe they know something in here. I wonder. Got all kinds of big, uh... Legislative Reference Library. What's that? What sign are you talking about? The legislative reference library. Yes, yes. No, I'm just looking around. I was I was looking for somebody to talk to about what just happened to me over at the courthouse. Um, you could go through the doors and it's Do they know about laws and stuff like that in there? They can help you find what you need. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Please use cell phones with consideration for others. All right, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Excuse me, ma'am. I have a question. Do you know anything about laws in here? That would be for anger. Um, what we do? Um, I need I need to know why I was just threatened with criminal trespass over at the courthouse. He should know. He, will, he can help. He can help. 
Okay. I appreciate your help. Thank you. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So you have a question. Um, <clears throat> I, I have a question specifically on this. Uh, if it's if it's more helpful to be able to give you that information, that is uh, that is specifically what I want to know. <laughs> why the marshals are so aggressive over there <laughs> when regards to this. Appreciate your help with this too. Yeah, because they were they were gonna throw me out. They were gonna take my camera. I'm like, why are you doing this? Like, it's a public building, isn't it? Okay, so, so, so you were um, you were prevented from. I was preventing from prevented from even walking uh, two feet into the building because they told me that. I needed to get permission. I said, can I go get permission right now to be in here? Mm -hmm. No, you need to leave right now. Okay. Andrew's available. I started a... Are you like a, an attorney or do you just work here in this I'm office? I'm a librarian. Librarian, okay. Um, I have, a, I have a, a question about this. Um, I'm a photographer. Okay. I do a lot of um, video and... and still photos and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I go in buildings, government buildings um, in particular, because they're, they're usually really interesting to mm -hmm. look at. Um, and I just went over to the courthouse. Um, I've been to two other courthouses, court, too. Of course, down that way? Yeah, the Supreme okay, Court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I went over there. I've been to the one in Waterville, and I've also been to the one in Newport. Uh -huh. In all three cases, they said that there's a, an administrative order that says that you're not allowed to record in the courthouse. Uh-huh. When this says courtroom, it doesn't say courthouse. So why are they allowed to kick people out, tell people they're going to confiscate their stuff, um, and act like tyrants? And when I tried to have a civil conversation with them about this order, they refused to talk to me. And it was a little ridiculous um, that I keep getting treated like this. You know. I can see if there's some specific court cases about this, which might have, because usually with um, specific orders, usually you need a court case, you need something that right. and, defines and what the I, actual extension I've, of it is. Yeah, I've looked online um, specifically about this, um, mm -hmm. and the only thing that I could find online was that courthouses and courtrooms are not traditional public forums where freedom of speech and freedom of press are allowed. You have to mm -hmm. get permission to do those things. Mm -hmm. But my question is, is if it doesn't say it right there, why are they allowed well, by good. law to give me a lawful order and tell me I have to leave or they're going to confiscate my mm -hmm. stuff? Well, that's what I was saying about the court orders because usually laws and regulations are right. kind of vague. Yeah, no, that's that's why I was. Well, that's what I was saying yeah. is, well, the court case kind of hammers out right. what specifically is this how we're going to interpret this law, or is this how we're going to interpret this rule? Right. So I can okay. see if there's court cases that specifically talk about this um, this order. Yeah, this order was done in uh, originally. It was done in 2005 by mm -hmm. the the Supreme Justice in in Maine, mm -hmm. um, and then it was revised again in 2011. I've I've done a lot of, and this is the paper that you need to get permission. Mm -hmm. I was willing to ask for permission while I was at the courthouse, mm -hmm. and they refused to let me in. Okay. I mean, they literally, I have it all on camera. They refused to let me in. They told me that I wasn't allowed to come in there at all. Um, and it was just a little bit ridiculous. I'm like, I'm trying to have a civil conversation. And they didn't want to have a civil conversation. They wanted to just throw me out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and I'm, do, I'm... I can do a little research into this if you want me to. Is that... Appreciate it. Sure. Yeah. Um, so let me just... Mind if we get some of your information just so I can... Oh, uh, yeah, you can get a little that. bit of information from me. Yeah. Um, can you write...
Do you, did you want to keep this? Uh, I you, write it down, yeah, it's fine. Sure. I can. You, you can keep this because I can get another copy of it. No, I no, have no, it. it's quite alright. You can. I oh. can track it down. Yeah, as long as you have the uh, the JB zero five dash fifteen at the top. Yeah. Um, there's also another one too on the on the main on the court stop main dot com website that talks mm-hmm. about recording in the courthouse, um, but it's it specifically says this order is mm-hmm. the the only reason why they have to follow that order. Okay. So I will do a little research here to see if I can find some specific court cases or specific secondary sources that might. Provide you a little bit more. Uh, yeah, because I'm just, I just, I just want to, I just want to know because I don't, I don't understand why they have to be so aggressive. Yeah. It's a camera. It's not like it's going to hurt them. Mm-hmm. You know you what I mean? Always, um, Maine has free legal services. If you want it, because again, we're not attorneys, so we I, can't absolutely interpret. Yep. I hear you. But if you wanted to speak with an attorney, they're yeah, able I've, to give you interpretations I've, of stuff. I've tried calling mm-hmm. around and. It, Nobody answers the phone, mm-hmm. so in in the majority of the time, I'm assuming it's because it's free. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm assuming a lot of people are doing this. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to civil rights, such as the First Amendment, I feel like it's really important to mm-hmm. know why somebody is going to throw me out of a courthouse mm-hmm. when I'm not causing any problems. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I was literally just going to go in there to talk to them about that administrative order, and then I was going to leave. Mm-hmm. Had no intentions of staying. Had no intentions of being aggressive or any, like. Have I been aggressive at all no. right now? Okay, I don't plan on being aggressive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I plan on having a civil conversation and that's it. So I appreciate your help. Okay. Yep. Thank so you very much. What's your name again, Andrew? Andrew. Yes. Thank you, Andrew. Okay. Have a good day. Hi. So we're going to walk around a little bit more. Oh, this is cool. I'm assuming that's not a real gun. Uh, maybe. No. I doubt it. Nah, it's definitely like either plastic or it's made out of stone. Our country presented by the ladies. That's cool. Medal of Honor recipients. I feel like going upstairs. I'm gonna go take a look upstairs. Honor William King, first governor of Maine. Civil War flags. Let's see. Oh, look at that. They named the, uh, if it will, there we go. They named the um, bridge in Orange Walk after the cop who got shot, Corporal Eugene Cole. Hmm. This office is obviously locked. Office of the Governor.